Dan Shaughnessy coming up flaming today. Not mincing words in the Boston Globe. I just want it to be over. And I officially am hoping Tom Brady leaves the Patriots. Sorry. Holly, this is... This is, I've never seen it this way. I need context. I mean, is, it, if somebody, not, there's something I, wrong with them. If, oh. if somebody told me, if somebody told me, hey, hey, Shaughnessy said, Shaughnessy wrote that he wants Tom Brady to leave the Patriots, I'd say, I'd say you know what? I worked for Dan, with Dan for a long time. He didn't say that. I need context. But he did. He wrote that. You what guys, are you talking about? You know I'm right. Most people agree with me. You should see my feedback. Unusually uh, amount of agreement on this on this topic. So what's the people logic? People are tired of it. I understand. I feel manipulated, and I like stories. I mean, again, the better stories are, you guys are in the business of storytelling and doing these shows every night, the better stories are, if Tom is with another team, that becomes another team that, for us to follow here. You start following the Los Angeles Toms, whatever they are. You got that going for you. And the Patriots, to me, it's more interesting to see Bill try and do this with a new guy, however he's going to come to this, with a new guy, rather than Tom comes back at the age of 43, they go 10 and 6, 11 and 5, they get knocked out by KC. Same, he's 43 years old. Why have people stopped noticing that? He looked 42 years old last year. He's going to look 43. Then he's going to look 44. This is not the future. Time to move on. We love you, Tom. It he was great. He looked 42. His left tackle looked 65. I understand. I know the whole the thing, the weapons and all that stuff. You don't buy that? The weapons? You think no, those, no, no. And I think... You, I think, think, those, you, think, you think those guys are good? You think Philip Forsett's a good I think they receiver? weren't that good. But I think in his next destination, he's going to have trouble. When he goes somewhere else, he's not going to have the protection of Dante's line. I know they've had ins and outs with the people and the personnel there. But... The system that he works here, not having that system, the protection he has yeah, here. Dante's he's line not a last three year, that line didn't look so great. Well, Dante Skarniecki was coaching most him. Most teams are going to want him to drop back and be a big boy quarterback like the old days, like Marino and that sort of thing. He's not that guy anymore. He's a pitch and catch, you know, short yardage thing, you know, yards after catch, all that sort of thing. And, and they do a good job protecting him. He knows how to move a little bit in the pocket. He's getting rid of the ball way too quick now. You know that. And the limitations are there. Throws in the dirt, throws away. Okay. I mean, it's just going to be more you of know, that. Dan, I can't argue with some of your observations. Brady is not the quarterback he once was. But do you know what this would do to the economy? I mean, while we're looking at the market right now and all of our 401Ks are going, <laughs> you know where, yeah. I'm thinking about no Tom Brady. Less people watch this show. Less people buy the globe. I'm telling you, man, when Brady leaves, it's over. Say goodbye to the Super Bowl. No more Super Bowl trip. <laughs> You're going to go to the Super Bowl regardless. They're not going no with more, him. But I'm telling you, no man. More, when Brady, no more Patriots when, trips. When, when Brady leaves, the, page, the, the fraud Patriot fan will be exposed. Okay, so you think it's oh, so you're saying get rid of them because the whole thing is over anyway. I think I'm not saying get rid of. Them. I think it's time for everybody to move on. I think he wants to move on. I think Bill wants to move on. I think they're I think you're the right there. Moving I on. think and, I think you're but right. But the interest in the team is going to go down. People are not going to watch the Patriots as much. The buzz about football is going to disappear. Are we ready for that? To, uh, tune in to Patriots Post Game Live, uh, <laughs> produced by Jeff Capitasso, does a wonderful Holly, job. I'm worried about your children. Yes, I yes, mean, I'm not joking you. here. I, mean, I am too. I'm, when, when Brady leaves, a lot of things change. He's but 43 years old this I season. How long do you think this is going to go? If you can milk right, but, one more but, year, I got a kid going to college. We need this show to remain right. sponsored. But I'm, it, I'm joking, but I'm not. When Brady leaves, the landscape changes. Oh, I, I agree. It, yeah, it does change. But you, you say, Dan, he's 43. How long can you keep it going? You probably can't keep it going until 46 or 47 or whatever it is. Thank you. Because, because Brady, he says 45, but I think he really wants to play until he's 50. You're going to have to drag him off the field. But why end it artificially? That's my question. Why just end it? If he wants to come back, if he still has something left, why would you say, okay, Tom Brady, your replacement is not going to be as good as Tom Brady. No matter what you feel about him, don't you think the replacement is going to be worse than Brady? I think, I think Bill has a way to, to do some come things. On, where, suppose he brings in Matthew Stafford. You know, Would you rather have Stafford than Brady next year? I would. I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I understand. He has, he's not accomplished. He's never won a playoff game, all that stuff right. like that. I mean, I get that. Played his whole career but, inside. But coming I, up people injury. are talking about a 43-year-old guy like he's Mookie Betts at 27. He's not that guy anymore. He's it's not okay. that guy. But it's been great. We loved it. Six Super Bowls. I mean, hey. can't, you know, it's been great. Uncle Dan's not done this more. Oh, oh he's got more. Okay. There's yeah, more? more. Yeah, yeah, there's <laughs> more. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> Uh, this Brady watch has been like waiting for the English patient to die. Which, that's a great quote. That's a, that is a home run. That's a home run. Just right there. die. Uh, it's been like waiting for Yash to be thousand dead. Like waiting for Major League Baseball to deliver its report on cheating allegations against the 2018 Red Sox. I like Bohemian Rhapsody, but it's six minutes long. 
Now we are listening to Bohemian Rhapsody in a nonstop loop. It's Tom Snang. It's Tom going. Please make it stop. I love it. I love gossip. I love the chatter. I love the takes. I love the fact that every GM is talking. I love the buzz. Well, see, I love right, this okay. stuff. Mike's the football guy. So we have 17 days till anything can happen on this, or 18, whatever. The, right, you know. right, right. So how soon after that date will it happen? Or is it going to be another weeks of talking about it? Probably. Help I, me out. I, I was guessing probably three or four days. Three or four three days, or four days? Okay. after that. So like, right. say, say it's like March 22nd. Okay. March 22nd. I, I want to go back to this. Uh -huh. Yes. So you're ready for Tom Brady. Dan Shaughnessy is ready for Tom Brady to move on. I am right? not alone right. on this. Okay, Do you're not, not alone. present me that I'm alone on this. But... Doesn't it tell you something, fellas, that uh, teams are supposedly lining up mm -hmm. to prepare their offers for Tom Brady, even though he's going to be 43. Mm -hmm. So if he's a 43-year-old bum or a 43-year-old guy who's in decline, why would other teams say, you know what, we need to make him our quarterback? If other teams want him, why do you want to move on from him? Isn't that logical? They want merchandise. They want buzz. They so want should the New England. Seats, hey, so you know. should the New England Patriots. And the Chargers want personal hey. personal seat licenses. Squeeze that, squeeze that thing until it's gone. Oh, don't man. don't end don't end it a year prematurely. Bill Belichick usually moves on a guy a year early rather than a year too late. In this case. Stay with it well, as long as you can. I, I can tell you, I don't want Brady to leave because of what I mentioned, because I think the interest in sports is going to go down. So that's for selfish purposes. The reality is, I think he is better off with another team. I think he's better off with Tennessee, because Tennessee is better prepared to win than New England. I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, I don't think New England is on the doorstep of anything. I think New England is looking at a rebuild. They're kind of like the Red Sox. But I think it's Not better for bad, him here because he knows the system. The system knows him. They know how to protect him. And again, the short game, they know how to bring out the See, best of him. I think he can go to Tennessee and win. I think he can go to Tennessee. Well, I think he, he can, can hand win. off there. I mean, I mean Tennessee, you know. that's my point. Yeah. Tennessee, Tennessee had a nice little, nice little story. He went to the AFC Championship right. game. How many games did they win this year? Oh, they, they nine won, and seven. They I know nine. Vrabel. They, I know. They, I, okay, they, Mike Vrabel. I heard his yeah. speech to Phil Perry. No, Bra Vra Vrabel's won, full of crap. That team is ready to do something. They won nine games. They're ready to do something. They didn't like, even win their division. You know as well as I do, they were peaking at the right time. You put Brady they, under center they had in Tennessee. A good, uh, they got a shot to win it they all. They had a good playoff run. I'm not sure Tennessee is much better positioned than New England. Oh, I do. Oh, look Tennessee. at the running back, dude. Who's what? their quarterback? It, Tom Brady. No, no. Is it? Okay, right now, right now. Who's their quarterback? Well, Ryan Tannehill? Uh, no, with but Brady. Mike. I'm oh, talking about on. with Brady. Isn't it going to be a little bit I mean, more? We're overreacting to a, a season that was not, uh, that was, uh, I think I'm, sorry. I, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm you're sorry. giving them their You're due. used to being in the AFC Championship game. Your youngest, her entire life. Yeah. Depends on Brady. Your daughter's yes. entire life. The, the, the team has been in the AFC Championship game until right. this year. And now it's a disaster. Yes. Okay. I mean, what were you going to say? It's just going to be boring if he comes back. I'm going to feel a little bit played if he comes back. It's like, all oh, this happened, Tom's coming back. And well, you, you, oh, don't gee, like the you way think they can win the AFC right? East this year? I mean, really, you know, do we got to do this again? When, you know, beat the, beat the Dolphins and the friggin' Jets you, again? You don't like the you know. fact that Brady's enjoying this, right? I think the, the, the social media, the tweaks, the flirting, the, the Giselle stuff, the little looking for clues, yeah, I'm tired of that. You know, stop it. I, I'm, I'm, I love it. I mean, yeah, I, I just, I mean, I just think it's awesome. I love it.